Hey everybody, what's up guys? How's it going on today's video? I'd like to do an update of my Zen garden and my spring maintenance and stuff I've been doing. Uh, this is a garden bed I want to show you. I call it my Zen garden. It was my rock garden. As you can see, I used to have uh, a tree that I had cut down. I cut it with a hacksaw and it was an ash tree and the tree went up about 20 some feet high and had a lot of branches on it, it was a really nice tree. Uh, but the reason why I cut it down was because I just got a brand new roof and uh, it was casting a, sh a shadow on the top of my nice new roof and I didn't want that to make the shingles peel because that's how the previous shingles uh, got a little uh, uh, rotted faster. So that's the reason, one of the reasons why I had to change the roof tiles. But, uh, so I cut down this tree sometime in the spring, and I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it, it has three focal points. One here has a plant. Uh, another focal point is right there. And then another focal point is right there. I got three different types of plants. They make uh, orange flowers and long green leaves. As you can see around, I did the rock circles. I got this, uh, I got these nice... Uh, colored rocks they're pink and white and they're rather large they're about the size of a baseball in comparison uh, to your hand and the reason why I did it in this circular pattern was to keep out grass because as you can see underneath I took the uh, black uh, paper and I put that underneath and I really uh, cleaned it out really well and uh, of course I cut the holes around uh, to have my plants grow up and then I put all this cedar mulch here that I got from working a previous job and then I got all these rocks here and as you can see if I lift up this one right here you'll see the plastic I put the plastic trim around as well but no matter what I do the grass always seems to come back and what you have to do in the spring is you have to take away all these rocks and take out all the green grass uh, I wish it would show here better on the video, but it's not. There's a little bit of grass. And, uh, yeah, so it's going to require a little bit of maintenance. There you can see quite a little bit, quite a lot there. And this is my Zen garden that's going to need an update. Let's go check out some of the other stuff. Okay, guys, walking over here to the other part of the garden is just at the front of the house. I, as you can see, there's lots of raking that's been done. I have a tree here that makes red leaves. It's been like that for 20 some years, looks great. And then down here we have some stuff growing. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff growing here guys, but I just can't remember any of the plants. It really looks beat up right now because the snow had just, just started to melt. Now let's go check out the real garden where we got the fruits and the vegetables guys. You are not going to be disappointed by this. Let's go and check it out. But before we do that, guys, I want to show you the back side of the house here, which uh, a lot of raking has just been done as well. We got all kinds of pink and purple flowers and then some white flowers. And uh, we kind of did it like an L shape to go with the concrete. We shoveled it all out. We put down the soil. We put in the plants. And it does grow in the shade uh, because the sun, when the sun rises, it gets all the sun. But when the sun begins to set, uh, there, this place is uh, area shaded, so you need to have uh, flowers that uh, take pr uh, that require like a minimum, like it needs a minimum of four hours sunlight, six hours sunlight. These things will grow, but if you have certain plants, that's minimum. 12 hours of sunlight, the the, the uh, flowers would not survive. So we handpicked uh, some of the tougher flowers. And now without further ado, let's check out the garden. As you can see here, a lot of work needs to be done. A lot of work needs to be done. I put down some cedar logs. Sorry that my shadow is in the way, guys. I put down these cedar logs. They're about five feet wide and 12 feet long. I have four big beds all with cedar mulch around the corners and on the inside is good quality soil for manure. I put a lot of effort into these garden beds guys and if you want one similar it's going to take about 20 hours of work minimum but it's going to last you years and years and years. Last year I planted, to, uh, uh, I planted uh, potatoes and I also planted blueberries. This here is a blueberry bush. 
it has a little bit of red on it, surprisingly. And this here is also a blueberry bush. Moving over here, we have some sort of uh, elderberry tree. It's for humans, but primarily birds go in there. And don't forget too, birds eat a lot of the insects and they hop around in here. And it just kind of promotes it in that way. And then here, which is a very messy looking garden bed that needs to be weeded out desperately. This year, I used to have onions. Moving on guys, let's move on to the raspberry bush. Oh my goodness gracious, we have a thistle patch. I'm gonna have to take that out. Could I take that out right now? Oh, see how easy it comes out because of the cedar mulch that I put down? And look, look guys. There's even a worm there, can you see it? So that's a good sign, it's pretty fertile ground. Uh, moving on to the uh, seed, uh, cedar poles here that I installed. Uh, I had a tractor dig uh, six feet deep and I put in these 12 foot cedar poles so it sticks up about six feet high. And then I run two trellises across that uh, are wired and that goes all the way down from my raspberry bushes. So this, so this here, guys, is what my raspberry garden looks like. It's about uh, 30 feet wide and uh, 60 feet long. It has uh, four big rows, and the raspberries are just endless. I get about uh, 200, uh, 250 cups a year. So this here is a trellis. That's another trellis system. That's another trellis, two trellis systems over here. So if we were to walk down like a vineyard, you would see all these branches here need to be cleaned up because if you're going to walk down your jacket's going to get all stuck and you're going to get all scratches and everything always wear a long sleeve shirt because if not you'll scratch all your wrists uh that's how i do it you take all these branches and you tie them to the trellis line so that way they grow straight and upward without bumping into each other but as you can see this winter is taking a bit of beating on it it's probably going to take around uh, four hours each row of work trimming out the dead raspberries uh, raking underneath all after uh, whenever it's no longer below zero you can take away all the leaves underneath that'll promote the uh, young ones to start anew so you'll have to do that you'll have to time that with how the snow melts and then I'll have to tie the trellises a little bit tighter and we're gonna have to clean up some stuff here it's probably gonna take about 25 to uh, 40 hours of work depending how many raspberries you want if you want it to be like an orchard walking away from my garden shack. I have a tree to the right, it's a cherry tree. Uh, this one I have covered at the cage because the deer were frequently uh, interested in it. So I let this grow for about four years and uh, it's not really doing too much, but, uh, but it is better than what it was. Over here to my left, we have an apple tree. It's a lot smaller, it's not doing so well. Uh, always remember if you're planning on planting apple trees to plant four, five, six, seven trees so that way if three or four die maybe one or two will live after the five year mark because here's a tree that I planted and it did not make it, it snapped in half. So that's unfortunate. Moving over here we begin to see uh, a very dark red. Can anyone guess what this is? Rhubarb! Red rhubarb. Moving over to the other side, on the opposite, we have this beautiful, vibrant, red rhubarb beginning to grow. Interesting. Interesting. So that's my video, you guys. I thought that was a snake, holy jeez. But it's not, it's just a leaf. Whew. So anyway, you guys, that's my garden video showing you my Zen garden, the garden by the house, and uh, the garden in the back where I have my uh, fruits and vegetables. This here is my garden shack standing behind me. It's uh, It was a hunting shack that was converted into a garden shack. I got all my garden tools in there. I took apart the door, I redone all the door, I redone all the window, I painted all nice green. I put in the uh, light fixture up top. I gave it a fresh coat of paint, put it on some... Uh, 
on some uh, wooden blocks that I created with the cement foundation underneath, right? And then I got the uh, and then I got the big uh, 10 by 10s going across. I got the same one on the other side. Let me see if I can show. And then there's a staircase, and then there's the other one, right? It's uh, perfectly square, perfectly level. And I was a little bit worried with the frost, maybe it would adjust it, but it never does. Uh, that's my garden shack. Okay, everyone, thanks for checking out this video. If you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the next video.